Hey folks, uh, we're going to find time and velocity due to gravity. And the problem is you reach out a three-story window, which is 9.144 meters above the ground, and you drop an apple. How long in seconds does it take the apple to impact the ground if you know that the gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared? So um, you're looking for a time, but we're actually going to use the equation d is equal to 1 half a t squared. And the reason why we're going to do that, well, let's populate it with some information. So we know that D is 9.144 meters. We know that A is equal to 9.81 meters per second squared. We know that's acceleration due to gravity. And the thing that we don't know is T. So if we don't know one of the three variables, but we know two other ones, we can still find T. So I'm going to and put all my information now. 9.144 meters is equal to 1 half A, which is 9.81 meters per second squared, times time squared. And I'm going to get rid of my 1 half by multiplying 2 over 1. I'm going to multiply this side by 2 over 1. And that's going to get me into 18.288 meters is equal to by 9.81 meters. I'm going to put that over second squared times t squared. And when I multiply this side by second squared over 9.81 meters, second squared, just gets rid of that. And I just have to remember to do it to this side, so second squared over 9.81 meters. And the nice thing about this is the meters cross out, and when I multiply across, I get 18.288 seconds squared over a number, which is 9.81, and that's all equal to the only thing left on that side, which is t squared, and do the math of 18.288 divided by 9.81, I get 1.86 seconds squared is equal to time squared, and now the last thing I have to do is say, well, in order to get time by itself, I'm going to take the square root of that. I'm going to take the square root of that over here. So I'm left with seconds. I'm left with time. And I also have to square root the 1.86. And that's going to give me 1.3. So my time is 1.3 seconds. Then I'm going to use that because the second part of the question is, what is the final velocity right there, right before it hits the ground? So that I will do over here on the side, and I'll say, well, final velocity is equal to the initial velocity times acceleration, okay, plus the time in it times acceleration. Well, we're starting off dropping the apple, so the initial velocity is zero meters per second times a, which is going to be zero. So for this problem right here, it's going to be zero plus, but acceleration here is 9.81 meters per second squared and I'm going to multiply that by my 1.3 seconds and I'm going to just rewrite this one more time I'm going to go down a little farther so v of f is equal to, I'm going to get rid of that zero now since it's not needed I'm going to write 9.81 meters per second squared times 1.3 seconds and you notice that something's going to happen with my seconds which is one of the two there is going to cross out that one there so then I'm left with multiplying across well, what's 9.81 times 1.3 and the answer is 12.7 I'm left with meters and I'm left with per second there and that's my final velocity so that's how you solve for time first and then velocity or final velocity.